the separation between the slits is 0.3 millimeters. If I change that to meters, a millimeter is 10 to the minus 3 of a meter. So this is 3 times 10 to the minus 4 meters. Now, we have a screen which is 3 meters away. So this is what we call L. It's 3 meters. We saw that the first side maximum is 4 millimeters from the center of the interference pattern. Now, the center of the pattern is here. I have the, that's the center of the pattern. The, this, the, here is where we have the first or the zeroth order maximum, the central maximum. Now, the, the first side maximum here, this one, is, so I have another maximum here, I have a maximum, the central maximum here, I have another maximum here, and we're told that this distance, y, is 4 millimeters. So we have y equals 4 millimeters, of course, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. What is the wavelength? So what is lambda? To solve this problem, we just use the fact that this is a maximum. And that maximum, a maximum will occur when the path difference between the two waves I have one wave arriving at this point this way, the other wave. And that the path difference, which is d sine theta, if this is equal to m lambda, we get maxima. Now, if m is 0, I get the central maximum, which is this one. m is 1, I get the first order maximum, which is the one we have. So this means that this is the first order maximum that corresponds to m equal 1. So this means that lambda, if m is 1, then d sine theta is equal to lambda. That is, lambda is d sine theta. So uh, we know d, it's 0.3 millimeters. All we need is sine theta. Now, sine theta, this maximum occurs at this theta. And sine theta, theta is very small. This is 4 millimeters. But this is 3 meters. So this means that tangent theta is 4 millimeters over 3 meters. This is a very small number. It's like 1.33 times 10 to the minus 3. So th therefore, tangent theta, I can take it as equal to sine theta. When theta is very small, if theta is of the order of a few degrees or less, then tangent theta is the same as sine theta. So I can take sine theta to be the same as tangent theta, which is y over L. So lambda is simply dy over L. D is, 0 point, is 3 times 10 to the minus 4 meters. And y is 4 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. And l is 3 meters. 
So the three cancels out, and we're left with, I'm left with four times 10 to the minus seven meters. Now the nanometer is 10 to the minus nine. So this is 400 times 10 to the minus nine meters. That is, it's 400 nanometers. So the wavelength is 400 nanometers in this case.